Welcome back to Nixie Insider Podcast. Today we're diving into an essential topic that powers the internet, internet protocol or IP. So welcome Pankaj and let's dive into it. Sure. Uh, so IP or internet protocol is uh, basically a postal system of the internet. You know, uh, it assigns a unique address to all the devices that are connected on the internet and then it enables uh, so that these uh, devices can, uh, you know, exchange information with each other. Uh, think of it as a digital address system where, uh, you know, one device can locate the other device using IP addresses. So IP is basically the backbone of internet and why is it so crucial? Uh, well, without IP, uh, internet is not going to work. Um, you know, IP, uh, IP address is the one that allows uh, all the devices to, you know, to open a web page, uh, to, uh, you know, to stream a video, right. uh, you know, to send emails, to have whatever communication uh, that's required. So without okay. IP, it will just simply not work. Okay, that makes sense. But where does iron fit in all of this? Uh, well, uh, IRIN or uh, Indian Registry for Names and Numbers uh, is an organization which mm -hmm. has been tasked to, uh, you know, delegate these uh, critical internet resources, uh, resource uh, to the organizations, uh, you know, in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, by equitable distribution of, uh, you know, of these resources, uh, we are ensuring that the, uh, you know, that the internet infrastructure in the country remains resilient and grows. So Iron is basically like the manager of India's digital address system, right? Yes, it is. And IP has different versions of it. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Um, so there are two kind of IP addresses. One is IPv4 right. and the other one is IPv6. Okay. Um, IPv4 has been there uh, you know, for a very long time, since the time internet uh, kind of started. Um, but uh, the the problem with IPv4 is mm -hmm. that due to the explosion of all the kind of internet devices uh, that are connected on the internet, you know, be it smartphones, um, smart TVs, even smart watches, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so many IoT enabled devices, uh, IPv4 is basically uh, you know almost over. Okay. Um, while IPv6 is a new generation protocol, which uh, which is uh, almost uh, limitless uh, there, and uh, you know it is more uh, secure more uh, faster uh, so this is the future of uh, internet infrastructure i mean ipv6 just sounds like a big leap forward and does nixi help with all of this yes um, so nixi has been uh, you know through iron uh, we've been doing uh, you know a lot of training programs uh, through nixi academy okay. we are providing resources uh, you know infrastructure support uh, to the organizations to internet service providers um, you know mm -hmm. the idea being that uh, we need to be able to uh, you know bring in a transition from ipv4 to ipv6 so that uh, the, con the the network in the country uh, the internet infrastructure in the country is future ready. Okay, so speaking about our training, Nix, isn't Nixie Academy involved in building awareness about all these technologies? Yes, absolutely. Um, so Nixie Academy is uh, is an initiative by uh, you know by Nixie uh, uh, and by Iron, and through Nixie Academy we provide uh, trainings, uh, you know, on different aspects of internet infrastructure. So, for example, we provide trainings on IPv6, we provide trainings on DNS, we provide trainings on domain management and, uh, uh, you know, and generally we are building, um, you know, uh, we're building this uh, resource pool, uh, which will then help uh, the organizations, uh, you know, and the key stakeholders uh, to actually benefit out of it and then, uh, you know, uh, bring this uh, into their own networks. Okay, so from IPv4 to IPv6 and other initiatives like this under IRIN, I think Nixie is doing a great job in this. And so let's dive into more in the next episode and we'll talk about internet exchange points in our upcoming episode.